Van's fired up about something, so I'm just going to scrap what I was going to... I was planning on... Are you upset about the DNC leak? Is that the thing that's... that's? Uh, I'm upset about a lot of stuff. Um, number one, I think the DNC leak is just a disaster. Um, I just, I, I think, you know, a chair has to be fair. If, you, if, you, if you're going to be the referee, be the referee. You can't put somebody else's jersey on. And the fact that we're, that we're here on the verge of a convention to try to stop Donald Trump and we still have the same person in the chair is just an outrage. And I just think that she should apologize, just apologize and resign, number one. Number two, Robbie Moot came out here on your program and he said something that was so unfair to all the young activists of color who were hoping that we might have a brown or a black nominee. He was like, oh, nobody feels that way. That's not true. There were people who were hoping for, you know, one of the Castro brothers or for a Perez or for a Cory Booker. Don't come here at the beginning of the convention and poo-poo that and say, oh, no, we're all happy. Listen, people like Tim Kaine, but give people a minute to, to, to have a moment of heartbreak. I'm just concerned that you got a tone-deaf DNC chair. Robbie should not have said that. And I'm just worried that we're not respecting you got 43% of the delegates coming here. They're Bernie Sanders people. They, they, they aren't all happy yet. We got a lot of work to do. And you can't insult people who have been trying to be a part of this process. Leave that chair in place, that's an insult. Robbie, come out here and say that, that's an insult. Give us an opportunity to come together as a party.